very impressive, is it? If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexian and I are going to have some words when we get back. Wow. Look at this place. No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Sky. It's beautiful. This must be the place. Yes? I may be... Out of the loop on the whole romance thing, but that pickup line is just bad. Abysmally bad. And yours are anything but better? Try saying this to Carlotta back in Whiterun. And don't even think about asking Mikhail for advice beforehand. <laughs> anyway. I'm glad you're here with me. It really is picturesque, and... I couldn't have gone this far without you. You know, this is going to sound odd. I mean, with everything that's going on. The prophecy, the scrolls, the certain death looming over us all the time. But this place is so beautiful. It's kind of like I used to imagine. You know, make love to the one person in my life in the most beautiful grove in all of Tamriel. My, um, maiden dreams. They're just some silly fantasies I had back when I... before... Well, what I got was the exact opposite of everything I had imagined. I guess it's ironic, now that, thanks to my father, I'm here. With you? Do you think I'm beautiful? Alluring even? Ravishing? Do you want me? Why don't we make Debella blush? Right here, right now, like there's no tomorrow. Then, what are we waiting for? Wow. I feel... I feel so liberated, strong, and... I... I feel lighter, free, finally, just... free. I should have done this ages ago. This is nothing like... And you... You're good at this, huh? My ravishing partner. Oh, I feel so good, you have no idea. We should do this again, soon. You know, I'm not exactly the marrying type or anything like that. Temples don't really agree with me, and the concept of long-term commitment for a vampire. I mean, it's one thing for Nords to be promising eternal companionship, you know, with how short mortal lives are. But us vampires? Well, that'd be an awfully generous promise, wouldn't it? Are you listening? And then, what kind of wife would I have made anyway? Homemaker? Keeper of the hearth? <laughs> Children would probably be scared of me, and rightfully so. And what would I cook for you? I mean, 
for my spouse. Poisonous stews, blood pies, right? You... You'd... Imagine? You... Really like me then? I... Didn't realize... Oh, it must have been why you were so... Wonderful just now. I'm... I'm sorry I lunged you like that. Well, I'm not sorry. It was amazing. But you... Well, what I'm trying to say is... I like you too. I'm just in such an addled state right now. I don't know how I would really feel once this rush wears off. I don't want to make a heap of hasty promises and then, you know, betray your expectations. Great, that's exactly what we'll do. I'm glad we're in agreement here. Oh, and thank you for everything. If you won't mind, I'd like us to relax here for a bit. 